What was that message again? We've all swiped away a notification message on our Android phone only to instantly regret it. Well, today I'm going to show you how to get those notifications back as well as a bunch of underutilized or not so obvious Android features that you may not know about but are definitely super helpful. Okay, let's do this. Break it down now, phone, get it. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev, where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks and how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. So we tend to unlock our phones a gazillion times a day, which is something we've just gotten used to over time, so it doesn't really seem like a big deal anymore, right? Well, wait until you start using the smart lock feature. It is a game changer. And yes, I know this feature has been around for some time, and yet whenever I show people this feature, they're genuinely surprised. So I wanted to include it in this video. So for those who don't know, Smart Lock feature is used to keep your phone unlocked under specific circumstances. Let me show you what I mean. So to do this, you go into Settings, Security, Smart Lock. You'll be required to enter your PIN, so basically it's your phone, and then you can select the circumstances where Smart Locked is used to keep your phone unlocked. Now, the first one is weird. It's on body detection. This will keep your phone unlocked whilst it detects that your phone is on you or in motion. Now, I say it's weird as if you have your phone on you in your pocket or in your bag, you definitely don't want it to be unlocked because, well, you don't want to butt dial someone by accident, right? The second one is called Trust Places. This is based on a map, and the moment you enter a specific location, the phone will no longer automatically lock until you leave that location. Think about this, when you come home, there's no reason for your phone to be automatically locked. Here's there. Well, the third option is called Trusted Device. Again, this is great if you're in your car with its Bluetooth, the phone doesn't need to be locked as long as it's connected to your car's Bluetooth. <laughs> Right, next up is definitely a big pet hate of mine. You know that feeling, you're trying to focus, you're in the right headspace, and all it takes is one beep from your phone and everything just immediately stops. It's like we're conditioned to react the moment we hear a notification on our phone. So there are a couple of ways to deal with this. And the first one is the do not disturb. And as the name suggests, basically, well, it allows you not to be uh, disturbed. So in Do Not Disturb, you can set exactly who and what is allowed to disturb you. And the rest is automatically put on mute. So I set mine to accept calls from family and specific people. If they're calling, it's a bit of an emergency, something's up. So I definitely want to get that call. And the rest can simply wait until I'm ready to deal with everything again. I also, of course, allow for alarms and calendar notification. Well, I just don't want to miss anything that's important. So that's the first option. The second option, so depending on the phone that you have, you'll be able to snooze your notifications for later, or you can set that notification to silent or alert. Well, speaking of notifications, I tend to get a lot of notifications and I try to clear them as fast as possible. Sometimes a little bit too fast. Usually this could be a YouTube comment or an alert about an article I wanted to read, but now that I swapped it away, it's pretty much gone. Surely there's a way to undo that? Well, turns out, yes, there is. What you need to do is long hold somewhere empty on your screen and select widgets. Then scroll down until you see settings, select that, and now choose notification log. You will see a gear icon on your home screen, and now whenever you click that, you'll see those notifications. Now, if your phone doesn't have the settings widget, well, simply go into the Google Play Store, and of course, there's an app for that. Right, next up, I grew up on a cool app called Shazam. Remember that app? So the moment you hear a song, you press the button and it automatically identifies the artist and the song title. But did you know that today Android actually has that built in? So on the Samsung S20 FE running Android 10, there is a widget called Sound Search. Simply find that widget, add it to your home screen, and essentially it's a shortcut to the Google Assistant that runs the command to identify what the song is. On the Google Pixel running Android 11, do a search in the settings called Now Playing. It will identify any song that's currently playing and even show it to you on your lock screen. 
You can also add a now playing widget, which will keep a running logs of all the songs that it has identified. So four quick Android features for you to explore. Some of them you might be using, some of them may not. Really worth giving it a try. So let me ask you, what is one feature you can't live without on your phone? Let me know in the comments. So check out more phone tips and tricks in those videos down here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos.